fourth petition of the Lord's Prayer, Jesus teaches us to pray, Give us this day our daily bread. In his explanation, Luther quickly goes to the idea that the Lord does this anyway, even for evil people who don't pray, obviously. They're not praying the Lord's Prayer. So why do we pray this? And a big part of this is going to be trust. That we would trust that it is the Lord who gives us this day our daily bread. My sinful nature wants to think, well, I did that. I provided for myself, my hands, the work I did. It's my paycheck, it's my house, it's my money. And those things simply aren't true. They are sinful pride that trust in the self and instead of in God. Instead, Jesus teaching us here to rely on him, to know that our Heavenly Father knows our needs and well provides us. He gives us each day all that we need to support this body and life. Our children can understand that. Our small ones, the little ones, they don't know where dinner comes from. They don't know how it gets to the table. They don't know what mom and dad have done to put it there. But when mom calls out dinner time, they come running, expecting that there will be food on the table. They trust. And so it's a simple childlike trust that the Lord will care for us, even though we don't always know how. And yes, he does work through people. He will work through me to care for and provide for my family. But at the same time, he doesn't need me. I could be gone tomorrow, and the Lord would still find the way to provide daily bread to those I care about now. It's his kingdom. It's his world. And he cares for it every day. Now, I also love the connection in this petition to the Lord's Supper. As we pray that Jesus would give us this day our daily bread, he does in his very own body, given in, with, and under the bread in the Lord's Supper, because our greatest need is to have our sins forgiven. Our greatest need is to be saved. And this is what he's done by his death on the cross, by shedding his blood, giving his body for us. He gives that to us in the Lord's Supper as often as we partake of it. And so if you receive it often, rejoice. Rejoice if you can receive it every other week, as is still normal in a lot of our churches. Every week, rejoice. Even a couple of our churches that have it every day, rejoice. Thanks be to God, however often you can receive that wonderful meal Jesus gives us. His body, our daily bread.